Right, so if you haven't heard, um, Toys R Us are coming back. And on Twitter, you know, there was a lot of people just like, you know, get, can I have my job back? And just like give everybody their jobs back. And it's just like, I know that year, I was like, I can't exactly blame them for wanting their jobs back. But it's never going to happen. Let's, let's be honest here. Yeah, that's never going to happen. Like, So, uh, first off, Toys R Us, yeah, all we know is that they're coming back. We don't know in what form. We don't know if they're going to keep the massive shops that they used to have, or if they're going to downscale to smaller shops, or if they're going to go and if they're just going to, or if they're just going to focus more you know, expanding their online presence. At which point, they can't hire everybody back because they know not everybody would have a job. Because I don't think, um, like, you know, a lot of people who just, like, worked in the uh, big stores would be able to wa work in a smaller store because there would just be too many employees for a small store, first off. Second off, I don't think the employees, uh, you know, like a, a cashier is exactly, um, te is probably going to be tech, I don't think they're probably going to be tech savvy enough to work, uh, you know, with expanding their online presence, so, um, unless Toys R Us literally just, like, go back to exactly what they were doing, like, you know, reopen all the stores and, you know, go back to exactly the way it was then unless they do that then I don't see anybody getting their jobs back and even then they'd probably have to reapply for a job. Um, but yeah, it's just like I heard about this and I was just like, yeah, I should probably make a video talking about that. Why is it that recently I've just like been getting more and more into these more controversial things? Oh well. I uh, this week, like this week and last week, were controversial subjects, of course. Anyway, um, so that's why I do not believe that the employees will get their jobs back, and sh but should they get their jobs back? Mm. Now that's more debatable because this isn't. Not every employee is a, is exactly the same. Not every employee works exactly as hard as the uh, one other one. Some employees would have been lazy and they did not have, you know, done their jobs properly. I'm not saying all, I'm just saying there would have been at least, like, one or two in, like, most shops. One or two employees that were a bit lazy. Like, everywhere you go, you'll hear somebody complaining about another employee being a lazy so-and-so and whatever. Um, so it's just like, um, what I think they should do is when, if the Toys R Us near them reopens... Just go back and reapply for a job. Like this, seriously, that's all you're gonna have to do, probably. And if you're a good employee, then you'll probably get your job back. Heck, you might even get slightly better pay, being as you now have work experience, so your resume is a little bit bigger. Um. But yeah, I do. I do say that this. It, um, Toys R Us firing all of them probably put a lot of employees into a tough place financially but like I said there's just it's, it's pro the probability of everybody getting their jobs back is slim to none basically um, like, un like I said unless they literally just reopen everything and just go back to how it was with like slight you know, changes with like what they do and don't stock or prices. Like I hope, hopefully they change the prices. Like they are toys are also extremely costly. Like they are one of the most, they have that like the highest prices pretty much. Um, mind you, they 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 do have a lot of quality stuff there. So yeah. Anyway, that's just my thoughts on this because while I do sympathize with them losing a job, like nobody wants to lose a job, and they didn't even get sandwich packages, which I which if I were them I would probably. Um, see about suing them about because I, I don't know exactly the laws on savage packages but I would like see a lawyer talk to a lawyer and see if they well the, this is America I, I would be surprised if nobody sued Toys R Us for at least savage package wise I don't know if they're going to sue them and just claim like they just laid everybody off um, and you know just 
or X Reason or whatever, um, just like whatever, you know, to you know, they just did this to like avoid savage packages or whatever, but that's going to be harder to prove. Um, again, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't know if you could do that, or I don't know the laws around that, but yeah, I do feel um, sorry for the people who did get laid off, but we realistically talk speaking you're probably not going to get your job back unless they open we open the store near you then just go in reapply you know taking your resume update it to um and uh, you know see and they'll hopefully they'll you'll get your job back that's that's all i can say um and yeah maybe looking i maybe talk to a lot about the savage package thing um that that might be something you should definitely look into. Like, I know um, when Telltale Games laid off a bunch of their staff, they didn't give them savage packages. I know they're being sued for it, and it's presumably because of that, and um, that they have now had to lay off like um, their skeleton crew, some of their sex skeleton crew, and I think the skeleton crew was just like twenty five people, so now they've got less than twenty five people, so. I know you. I know you like savage package packages are definitely worth suing over, probably. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next video. Actually, there might be a live stream later on today of Sonic Six, so if you're into that, I'll see you with that. Bye bye.